نحمد و نصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my respected viewers uh, nowadays everybody is struggling very hard why we are struggling very hard to attain a beautiful and good life a successful life we are struggling day and night if a person is a businessman if a person is doing job or if a person is doing his own work everybody is working so hard why we want to achieve a good lifestyle or successful lifestyle what is a successful life or good life is a person having lots of wealth if a person earns lots of wealth he is a successful person or if a person attains higher degrees in universities so he is a successful person or if a person is a well built physically very good so he is a successful person what is a success and which direction we have to put our efforts so then we get the real success in the light of quran and sunnah if we look at the past firaun he was a powerful person namrud he was a powerful person did he was successful and qarun he had a lots of wealth and if we look at abu jahl rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that there is a firaun in every time and the firaun of my time is abu jahl abu jahl is educated person is an educated person and his title was abul hikam but when he ignored the message of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam though he had a lots of knowledge he was not su- successful he is known now in history abu jahl Abu Lahab because of his reddish complexion and people say that oh, look at that how beautiful is but he ignored Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's invitation he was not successful Qarun people asked long for he had a lots of wealth when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave his azab and earth engulfed qarun and all his wealth all everything got into the went into the earth and then people said that oh we we, we don't want to be a qarun after looking at his punishment and look at uh, looking at his allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dealt qarun so where the success lies if we look at quran and sunnah quran says loud and clear wa mal hayatud dunya illa lahwun wa la'ib wa inna ad-dar al-akhirata la hiya al-hayawan this worldly life is not but diversions and amusement and the eternal home hereafter is your eternal home and only few people knew that so hereafter life if a person is working for hereafter and he is a successful person if a person gets success in hereafter then he will be a successful person in other hadith narrated by hazrat saad bin sahal radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported in tirmidhi he said that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this world if this world had a weightage is equal to mosquitoes wing then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not 
give permission to this non-believer to have a sip of water. It means in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this worldly life is nothing. This pile of wealth, gold, power, these are nothing in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is real success if a person is successful in the hereafter life. Because this life is eternal life. And if we compare both lives, this lifespan, maybe 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, some people may be fortunate they, they get the 100 years, but not. And if we look at with that infinite, so there is no comparison with this life. But it doesn't mean that we leave this dunya, we disassociate with all those things and we are not enjoying any blessings and bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we leave all those luxuries or all those necessities now we are enjoying. No, it doesn't mean like that. So what is the real path? If we put ourselves on that path, the struggle we are doing day and night, that would be a fruitful struggle. And we enjoy this dunya and hereafter as well. So we have to go to look at the verses of Surah Asr. Imam Shafi'i rahmatullah he is of the or he is of the opinion. In Surah Asr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala summarized all Iman. What is all Iman? What is the purpose of your existence here? And how can you get the real life? And how can you get a success in real life? Allah says in Surah Asr, Wal Asr, by time, in al insan al fi khusr. There is no doubt about it. Mankind is in loss. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes an oath of time. Time is very, very important factor of our life. It means who is the getting the benefit of time? He is a successful person. Because if a person wastes a time, that moment will never come back again. Time is a very important factor. What time? Past, future, present. If a person is a faithful, he get the benefit of all. His past would be beneficial, his present is good and future is also good. And because of the, this reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take an oath of time. Like if a few students are sitting in examination hall and the examiner give them answer sheet and what the examiner will say, only two hours of three hours time. So first thing, first sentence examiner will say, your time is very important. Because now, this, this answer sheet in front of you. And if you do not fill this and waste your moment, so you will be failed. So it means time is very important. We cannot afford to waste our time in this dunya. Wastage of time where? Those activities, those activities that take us away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those amusement, those activities, those make us to forget zikr ilahi, those activities where we involve, we follow the 
steps of shaitan, we are wasting time. Sitting hours and hours and to have a gossips for no reason. And there is no result for those gossips. Sitting hour and hour we play games. Sitting hour and hour, this is a wastage of time. Students are in examination hall now. And now examiner expected now these students are doing their answers and don't waste time. And if they are not doing anything, so what examiner will say? He will say that you are in loss. You are in loss. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says time is very important for mankind. If you do not get the benefit of this time, so you will be at loss. How you get the benefit then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes. How you get the benefit of your time. Number one factor. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَبَاسَوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَبَاسَوا بِالصَّبْرِ Four important actions if you do that in your life. If you follow these four, in, four instructions, so you get real success. And you are a successful person in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, Allah says, mankind is in loss. Who? Except those who have believed in the oneness of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faith. And those who had done righteous deeds. And those who advise other people to truth. And those who advise other people to patience. So number one factor is faith, iman. If a person has no iman, whatsoever he is doing in this dunya, what the success or the blessings according to his, his opinion, he has it, he has nothing. He is in loss. If a person even do good deeds to help others, to help needy poor people, to be very good with the family, to very good with other fellows, spend money in charity, but he has no iman. He has, he will not get any success in hereafter. In a hadith, Rasulullah said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive a person who is doing shirk. If a person is not having belief on oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and who is a successful, the first thing, first thing in our life, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, admit the sovereignty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Admit that Allah, all might goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is Ilah, He is Malik, He is sustainer. With the core of heart. Because Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked once to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, reported in Sahih Bukhari. He asked, O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who would be the luckiest person? I will get your intercession on the day of Qiyamah. Rasulullah sallallahu said that, Abu Huraira, I thought that you will be the first person who asked this question because of your eagerness of knowledge. And answer of Rasulullah, the person who says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, in the core of his heart will get my intercession on the day of Qiyamah. 
I will do shifa for that person who says this kalama, the core of heart, who has this belief, the core of heart, not the tongue. Iqrarum bil lisani wa tasdiqum bil qalb. Tasdiqum bil qalb means to have this connection and to admit it and then you start your life under the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a single action should be go against the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And your, uh, all of our activities are according to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Iman. And if a person has this Iman, then this wealth will be benefit for him. Then he earns wealth. There is no harm to leave dunya. There is no harm to earn dunya. If we look at the, those Sahabi who are Ashram Bashra, those who ten blessed people, Rasulullah Sallallahu and gave them good news to, to get Jannah, among them many are very rich. As Abdul Rahman bin Auf was a very rich person. He earned money. But having this faith and Iman, Iman on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why in hadith, Rasulullah said that La ilaha illallah kalama is so heavy. If you put another scale, one scale, another scale, you put seven heavens. So that scale would be heavier. The kalma. Kalma is not saying with tongue, believing in the heart. If it it is just merely saying with tongue, so it was not difficult to say Abu Jahl was saying kalma. It was not difficult to Abu Lahab. He was recited kalma. No. They knew after saying kalma, we have to enter. And we admit the sovereignty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We entered in the fold of Islam. We follow sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu This is the life of a moment. So first thing is, if a person would like to get a real success in his life, Iman, Iman, Iman. We are blessed, we are born Muslims in the Muslim families. But it doesn't mean that we are real Muslims. We have to revive our Islam. When you are in adult age, now you realize, you say this kalma again. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I revived my iman to you. This is your blessing, you give me birth in a Muslim's house. But it is not a token of success till I'm not saying this kalma with the core of my heart. Oh Allah, today I'm saying this kalma with the core of my heart because I want to be a successful. And the real success, successful here and hereafter, both. And after that, when a person having this iman, he goes righteous deeds, harmless saleh. Righteous deeds, those actions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded and stop yourself for those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked not to do. So this is righteous thing. With the right niyyah, with the right intention to get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if a person is doing any actions according to the commands of Allah, this is a righteous thing. The person who is having iman, he can do this one. And after that, what happened? He advised other people to do truth and sabr. You know, what we, when we are doing, when we speak truth, then we have to face opposition. All Anbiya salam had to face opposition. And we also have to face opposition. Then we don't worry about it. We just have our link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have our eyes or hair after. And we ask that, oh Allah, we will get reward from you, not from this dunya. And 
not only advise others, we have to do by ourselves be before advising others. Because Allah says, Kabura maktan عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِنْ تَقُولُوا مَا لَا تَفَعْلُونَ It is a very bad thing if you are saying anything to others and not doing by yourself. So this is real success. A person have Iman and after that he is doing righteous deeds and then he has a firmness of righteous deeds and observes sab sabr whatsoever he has to face any difficult time, he stands firm, then he will be a successful person. And with this, if he earns dunya, there is no harm. If he lives in, we, we live in this dunya, but dunya should not be live in his heart. This is real success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us understanding and wisdom. Bama alayhi wa